subconscious mind is where you spend all of your waking hours. When you go to sleep, your subconscious mind is still awake. In fact, that subconscious mind of yours never sleeps. And it knows what's wrong with you. It knows why you're having symptoms. It knows why you're having trouble finding your soulmate. It knows why you're having a hard time creating your life. Uh, it knows everything. It knows all about every cell in your body, I believe, down to the quantum level and beyond. How do we tap into that massive database of information? How do we do it? Well, in the emotion code, we teach you how to use different forms of muscle testing. Now, muscle testing other people can be used where a person holds out their arm, they can make a statement, true or false, the arm will stay strong for yes, it will fall for no. You maybe have seen that before. But to give you an idea how the emotion code can work, I wanna share one story with you. I was at an event and I asked for a volunteer and a young woman about 21 years old came up out of the audience and I had her hold out her arm and I started asking questions and found before much time had gone by that she had a trapped emotion and the trapped emotion was forlorn, which is feeling all alone and hopeless and desolate. And I asked her if she knew anything about that. And she said, no. And that wasn't surprising to me because the year that I had identified through muscle testing that this had actually occurred was first year of her life. Well, at the beginning of this event, I had happened to meet this young woman and her mother. And so I looked out at the audience and there was her mother and she was white as a sheet. And she had her hands up like this. And I said, hey, do you have any idea what this might have been about? And she was embarrassed, but she said, yes, she thought she did. She said that when she was raising her daughter back in those years, she used to use cloth diapers. And one day she accidentally pinned her daughter to her diaper. And she was really embarrassed about it. But I tested on the, on the daughter and asked if that's what this was about, her subconscious mind gave back a strong muscle response. That's exactly what it was about. And so I went ahead and released that trapped emotion, which just literally takes seconds. And she went back and sat down and I finished my lecture and went home. Well, about 10 days later, I got an email from this girl's mother. And she said, listen, she said, uh, my daughter didn't tell you, but she's had a problem with her hip and her knee uh, on one side for a long time since she, I think she was about eight years old. And she said, it's been affecting her and gradually getting worse over the years. We've tried different things. Nothing's ever worked with it. So she's just been living with it, but it's been affecting the way she walks to a small degree. She said, since she removed that trapped emotion from her, that pain in her hip and her knee has been completely gone. Not only that, she's feeling this new lightness of being that she hasn't felt before in her life. And she said, she's telling everybody about this. And her mother said, you know, I, I waited 10 days to see if this was real. And it absolutely is real. It was transformative for her. Think about your own life. Think about the aches and pains that you have. Could some of that be from emotional baggage? I'm here to tell you that 90% of all the physical pain that we have is due to emotional baggage. And it is the underlying cause or an underlying cause, at least, of every disease process that we have seen now in 33 years. It's important to learn this simple method, the emotion code, so that you can start helping yourself and, and those that you love. It's easy, it's fast, it's efficient, and it's effective.